Alright, so we're going to have a look at uh, making propellers out of balsa wood, like this one here. Okay, so we need to, to make our own propellers. If the uh, the standard propellers that we have, the plastic ones, are actually too big. Alright, we'll have a look. This is a standard 4mm uh, motor. And you can see that this uh, this propeller here, the 30mm propeller, is, is actually the right size. It's quite good for that motor. But when you're working with nano motors, I'll just change over here so you can have a look at them. Okay, so here's your standard motor, 4 millimeters, and here's a nano motor. Okay, so that's a 3 millimeter one. This one here is a 4 millimeter version. I'll just put him in there. There's a 4 millimeter version, uh, but it's a short, as you can see. Right, so for motors like this, of course, you're going to need a smaller propeller, like this one here. Okay, so this one here is a this one here is a, um, a balsa propeller. Okay, and you can see compared to the 30 mil, uh, well, this one here has got a diameter of 20 mil, so it's a lot smaller and better suited for these motors. So the process of, of making a a propeller like this is really quite simple. I'll just give you a closer look up. There we go. Closer look at the propeller. Okay, so there's a the propeller there, and you can see we've just uh, just sanded each side of the propeller, and then just uh, finally just given it a little bit of a um, little bit of uh, a curvature on the front side. Okay, so we're just going to look at the process for making one of these propellers. Right, the first thing you'll need to do is get yourself a piece of balsa. And you can see I've just marked out the propeller here, that's 20, 20 mil there. Okay, so 20 millimeters wide, and it's about uh, about 6 millimeters uh, thick there. And this is 3 mil balsa. Okay, so it's going to give us plenty of uh, plenty of room to uh, to actually get that that curvature there. Right, so once you've marked out your propeller, you just need to cut the balsa and what we're going to be doing is actually filing this down so we're just going to need a file maybe a nail file would do it I've just got a little hobby file here and another thing you might need is um, a very small pin drill okay these motors you know typically they'll have a, a 5 mil shaft okay uh, sorry not 5 mil 0.5 millimeter shaft and uh, you'll need a pin drill to drill the hole in there and uh, to insert them on but of course you'll still need to put some some glue in there and actually glue them onto the shaft okay so the first thing we're going to do is just drill that hole I've got it marked out there in the middle okay so we'll just drill the hole all the way through not making it too big we just want a little bit of a, a guide hole for that to, to slip into and we put it on there. Okay, but we still we'll still need to uh, put a bit of glue on that as well. Okay, so the next step is to file down these two sides. So what I want to do is I want to file at this angle here. Now I'm just going to choose probably a, a 60 degree angle and take this corner off, and then on the other side take this corner off as well. Now the best way to do that and to get a a constant uh, angle is to use the edge of a table. So if I just put this here like this, I can actually just use my thumb there and file it down this way. You can see this one's a reverse prop, but we're going to make a standard rotation prop uh, with this one here, just by filing it. Okay, so we just sit it there on the edge. Okay, I'm going to use my, my fingernail there to guide the, the file, and we start filing it down. Okay, so check it as you go through. You can see how far we've filed there. It needs to go a little bit more. So doing it on the edge of a table like this, you can get that 45 degrees really well. Well, sorry, 60 degrees. There we go. This needs to come back here a little bit further to get to this edge. There we go. 
So we've got the first surface done. Okay, we'll turn the dough for now, and we're now going to file down this edge here to get the other one. Okay. And it'll help if you uh, just take those lines and just extend them onto the onto the back of the propeller. Just to give yourself a guide. Now this is where you have to be careful because you could easily break this as you're filing it down. So just uh, just work very slowly. I'm going a little bit fast here just to uh, to get it done and to show you the process. But stop stop regularly and uh, and make sure you've got the angle correct. There we go. Okay, so there it is. Let's have a look on the close-up camera. All right, so you can see we've got an angle like this. Okay, and both sides are pretty much the same. Actually, I notice I've got a little bit of a curvature on this side here. So I might actually put a circle here, and I'll call that the front. Let me check it. No, nope. that's going to be the back. Okay. Right, so what I want to do is I then want to curve this surface here. I want to make that one flat and curve the front surface. Curve this surface here and make that one a bit more flat. Okay, we'll go back to this one. Okay, so this is the back surface. Okay, it needs to be nice and flat. I'm just going to flatten that off. Trying to keep the file at an exact angle. And on the front surface here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, to work it and round off the edges. Let's use a little bit of a, a steeper angle here to round the edge off. Okay, this is where you need to be very careful. Uh, as I said, don't take just take your time, don't don't do it as fast as I'm doing here, just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so that gives us a little bit of a bit of an aerofoil shape on the propeller blade, like that. Okay, and basically that's all there is to it. That's uh, the first end done, and then you just turn it around. You can just, if you have it this way, have it this way, you simply flip it around and do the other end, and you're going to have the, the opposite angle there, which is just what you need. Okay, so after doing that, uh, you may want to you may want to just give the edges a little bit of a file, round the tips off. Okay, you might want to actually just uh, just file around this uh, this hub here as well. Okay, and just uh, basically after that, it's a case of attaching it to the motor, testing it, refiling it. And, uh, and just refining a little bit until you get one that looks like this. Okay, so that's how we make a propeller out of balsa wood for a nano motor.